finished the kayaks and now what we were looking towards is how do we haul these things and last year when we did put them in the water uh, had racks on top of the blue Lexus it worked fine but it was a pain to put those on and off so what I did is I started researching a lot of trailers and what I did find is um, it really depends upon the styles that you want but I was looking for some you know, small trailer that I could take that maybe had a max speed of about 70 miles an hour that I could take over a longer distance. Um, but what I found is I really like the Malone trailers. Now, this is not a sponsored uh, video at all. All I'm just saying is I've done a lot of research and this is what I've kind of come up with for what my needs are. I did um, work with e-trailers. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. Again, they are not a sponsor of this, but uh, one thing I can tell you, so uh, this, I actually ordered this in, I think, December, and I've not done anything with it. It's February now, end of February. But the one thing that I did find is Malone sent the trailer directly to me um, E-Trailer was kind of like that broker on that, but E-Trailer, uh, those folks were great. Uh, those items that were in stock, they sent them. Uh, they took a look at what my vehicle was and what I needed. So really the criteria was, I had a Lexus, uh, I have a Lexus um, RX um, 2016, uh, 350, 350, 360, something like that. This one here's a 330. It does have a tow package on it, but none of the lighting fixtures, so I needed that to be taken care of. The other part is I wanted it fairly light so that I could stow it. I wanted to be able to uh, break it down. Um, and so what I did find is one that would um, pull multiple uh, kayaks and for a really good price. It was like 1376, something like that. And I'll go through each one of the prices. I'm not going to have them exactly because the market kind of fluctuates. But let's get in. So this package here uh, came in, uh, They were it was over two different times. So the one from uh, UPS, I think, or FedEx um, came in and then had a lot of little boxes. And then the trailer itself was probably another, I think it was around the 1st of February that that came in. So I've not done anything with it. So let's go in and kind of take a look at what's in these boxes and kind of give you a little idea of what, uh, what I actually received. I've only opened up a few of them just to see what they were, but I've not opened them all. So we're both gonna get a little something here. Everything in this box is what we're gonna be using to put the connections on the Lexus. So here's a, a mounting bracket. I can. Here's the module unit uh, to then do all the plugs and make those available. Uh, the folks from eTrailer will help you to make sure that you get this right for your car. And then also I've got just a little plank to put in there. So I'm going to put these back in here. Uh, they do show you how to put this um, all together. So that's going to be a big help. Uh, with the Lexus, which is really kind of nice, it's just plug and play. So that's going to be good from, from my standpoint. And let's look at this next box. I, I really know what this is. Uh, this is actually a spare tire. Nothing big, pretty small. And then there's a spare tire carrier. That'll be just there for safety, in case we ever need to just get someplace. 
Now this next box is kind of strange. All of these boxes are fairly heavy. And so I really felt sorry for the, the UPS or the FedEx guy because three of these, four of these boxes were, were fairly big. So these, um, got two tires here, uh, nice size. The other part that's in here are the fenders. So this is just a standard, standard, I guess that's probably galvanized steel, but there are better ones. I could have done an upgrade, so you could have done with some chrome spoke wheels, um, this with some, some diamond chrome fenders, but I really think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint all this. So I'm probably gonna paint it black. That'll be another project all to itself. So let's look at what else we have here. I do not know what this is. So when you don't take it stuff after you order them for a few months. Probably not going to start working on this until the weather gets nicer just because I want to paint it first so this all comes into pieces uh, it is a kit which you know those are always the best I love them um, but that's it's just gonna take us a little bit longer to to do that because it's today it's supposed to be 60 but it's February it's still dead of winter here so this is another piece um, as a part of the trailer, I wanted some, I guess there's a whole bunch of different ways that you could probably end up doing this, um, but I wanted a, just kind of some storage. And what this is, is just you know, plastic storage locked down. And it can be strapped. Got some hardware in here. Just go ahead and open that up because we do want to find out what's what's in there. There's a couple things. So we do have the directions, which is great. And then this is just really uh, the straps to strap it down. That is perfect. We might as well pull this out, take a look at it. That's just a plastic box. I think that was, I don't know, I, I, re I really cannot remember how much that was, um, but it was under $200 uh, for that. That'll be a nice little asset for us, because really what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take and put in, well, we'll probably put the life jackets in it. Um, it's not big enough to hold the oars. So I'll we'll have to, to keep those in. So this is another heavy piece. And there. But let's go, I, I'm sure that this is probably the hardware and some other pieces. So we got 
lots of goodies in here. A lot of bolts. Pins. And this is all the mounting hardware, strap down, some heavy duty stuff. The ball hitch, gotta buy a ball for that. These would be the side chains. Bunch of nuts. There's some brackets. Some additional brackets. More brackets. And I think the thing is, is we may need to kind of put this together to determine what is it that we're going to paint. I would like it all to be black. That's how much? And then I've not checked to see if painting is even recommended. It's not going to be in the water, or that's that's one thing. So these look to be the safety lights or the tail lights, all the reflectors, all the wiring that's going to go inside. So this is actually going to be a fun project. I am going to enjoy this. So we're going to put this stuff back in. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how best to do these. Probably, probably what's going to be best is for me to just open it up from the side here. Because I need to be able to put it back. But I don't mind taking it out of the box.
So the one thing, uh, this just has all of our miscellaneous. Uh, these I'm pretty sure are gonna be the straps across that then will bolt on our Malone um, a carry top that that's what will hold our kayaks in. And these are just the rest of the side panels. Uh, the one thing here, there is a Malone sticker on here. I may, I may um, contact Malone and see if I could get a few more of those. I think I'd need probably three. I don't know, let's take a look at here. I see two of them here. But, um, because if I do paint these, um, then I want to make sure that, well, if I, if I want to go back and, and put a logos on it, I can. But uh, if not, actually I could take that off because that's not a clear, that's actually a, um, it's kind of a brushed aluminum in the back there. So that should be good. So that's it. That's all of the pieces that we've got for our $2,000. Uh, a little under that, I think it was like, I don't know, 1875, something like that, even with the shipping, uh, which was, I thought it was a really good price for a, a very specific um, trailer that's going to match with our kayaks. But um, I think the next episode, and I'm not sure when that'll be, we've got to come in and we've got to clean up all of these aluminum pieces. I do want to reach out to Malone to see if it is something that should be done or could be done to paint these. And then um, once the weather kind of warms up, we'll end up painting all of this. It'd be great to be able to powder coat it, but I just don't want to go through that much trouble to, to get a powder coat, but I would, um, I've got all the, the automotive painting tools and air compressors to come in here and really lay down some, some nice primer and lay down um, some really nice black gloss um, paint and then probably doing some clear on top of that. The next episode that we get with the kayak will be painting or the decision to or not to paint. But thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps the channel. Hit that thumbs up if you like the, um, the content that we're posting. And make sure to turn on your post notifications to catch all the episodes of The Bucket List. Thanks for watching.